it is 12.30 in the a.m., so that can mean only one thing, right, ladies and gentlemen? That's right, recording time! Where are we? Caristo Station. And I believe I said I wanted to go there. So, being a man of my word most of the time when it actually matters, let's uh, get on over there and see what kind of uh, enemies we might encounter in this new land. Finally, we get to hear that music again. What the frack? That is creepy. Uh, I don't trust things that are... Oh, man, look at that new uh, claw. That looks good. Um, then, yeah, you can attack that. And you good sir? Man, Ozma's getting big and I leaned left in my chair to try to get a better look. Sorry, Soul. That's not how things work in video games. You're stuck to a specific I meant to have an attack. The weird looking thing. But yeah. Wow, that's good damage. I have no idea what I was saying before I got distracted. At all. But yeah, that thing's creepy looking. We're doing some good damage. People's weapons look pretty good. Good job, Vaughn, on your blocking, sir. I am just, uh, awfully curious to see what the story is doing. Um, as Jeff said when I finished the, uh, what part was it? The part with, the uh, Saryu. Uh, section with the juggernaut he's like yeah you finished the weirdest part in the game I hope so because that part was weird I mean it makes sense like I get what they're doing in terms of building a plot like you know now the juggernauts released um, but it was weird it was just strange you know they could have done any other number of events I think I don't think it was a bad event but that thing is moldy Okay, now we're getting some uh, old school reskins. Um, I was about to use some. Some. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it, we'll use it anyways. Um, man, everything's so expensive. Well, let's give it a shot anyways. Because I'm thinking, you know, the uh, town or whatever it is we're going to right now is covered in this. So. I doubt it's gonna be too friendly. Um, I was actually originally going to... Topic shift, by the way. I was going to record some Secret World or Skyrim right now, but... I've been playing computer games all day, uh, mainly Smite with some friends of mine. And so, I'm tired of sitting in that position. Um, so I was like, oh, if I play Ligaya, I can just sit back with a controller in my hand and look at some badass plasma storms. I didn't actually say that. Holy fuck! Wow, um, okay. You're amazing, Gaul, with your 1500 damage. Gee, I wonder if he even has the, um, the item that gives him more intelligence. Meaning, if he... What the fuck was that over my head? Is that that floating fortress? And yeah, he does not have that thing yet. Um, is it bad to standard? I want to see, is it bad to standard or it? Oh, come on. They should have made a mechanic to where if you're under it, you automatically get into a combat with the Seru. That would have been cool. And I swear to cheese, if I can't go in this place, I'm going to be annoyed. Okay, good. There's a bridge. It's like Easter. Don't worry. There's a bunny. It's like, wait, what? Sorry, I just thought of uh, Jim Gaffigan. A queen bee. Okay. Uh, who gets called queen bee in pop culture? Is it, um... Beyonce? I don't actually pay attention to that stuff, so I honestly don't know. Uh, you can take out the Queen Bee, and you so can. It's not even a good Ozzy album. It's really not. I think that's the one where he had Roy Z or Roy, Roy G from uh, Ireland as his new guitarist. 
Uh, last I heard, though, he's going to start working with Zach Wilde again. Like, I get what he was saying, what Ozzy was saying when he um, asked Zach to leave. He was saying, hey, our stuff's, my stuff's starting to sound way too much like Black Label Society, and I get that. Um, and Black Label does get... It's... Black Label's not, you know, incredibly unique uh, metal. It essentially follows the pop format, which a lot of metal bands do, but that's why I listen to prog mainly, because I don't like the pop format for the most part. You get bored with it. Um, wow, you're not dead yet. Maybe I shouldn't be screwing around. Oh, good. Agility increased? Okay, as long as it's not your strength. You ugly son of a bitch. Uh, but... Yeah, like, I get what he's saying, but I mean, Ozzy also has a lot of creative control over what his music is. Like, he, there have been, ooh, good, congratulations, Gull, on your new level. There have been interviews with Zach Wilde where he's talking about, oh, yeah, I've wrote, written something and Ozzy says no, so I scrap and try again. Just do that. Or Ozzy could be as honestly as blunt as he wants and says, could say, I want to make music like we made back when Randy Rose was still alive. Um, you know, that uh, more traditional form of metal. But still, that is pop metal uh, to an extent. You know, it's first chorus, first chorus, bridge slash solo chorus usually. Wow. Anyway, back to the story of this wonderful game. And that is a beautiful building. Like, this is making me think of Chrono Cross now with, you know, when you go to the uh, Dead Sea. Um, and there's all the, well, the future world that's in the past. It's, it's a very confusing game. But it's a very good game. Chrono Cross. Best RPG of all time, just saying. Sorry, that's my opinion. <laughs> so, this is Seoul. I never imagined that such a huge city could be built by human hands. This must have been built with the power of Sarah long ago. Flying trains, the city itself, truly a pre missed civilization. Let's see what's like inside. No, oh, wait. Don't go in alone. I'm with Gaul on this one. I'm with Mr. No Fun Pants. Well, come on, Von Gala, let's go. I did no oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mute myself fast enough. You heard part of that. Um I breathed in my water. Haha. <laughs> There's no arguing with Noah. Come Von, we're all going inside. And the funny thing is, I choked on the water right when I was trying to brag about I did not forget to fill up my water cup this recording. <laughs> Whoa, this is um Modern. I don't like that. I really sometimes don't like it when they put modernism in a game that doesn't have normative modernism. Um, everything's been beyond medieval, but definitely not modern. Maybe a little pre-Victorian era? I don't know. Wow, wow it's huge! Fuck, oh, look, it's huge! Look at it. What? I heard Seoul was a big place, but I never imagined it was this big. But it's engulfed in the mist. Ah, you don't sound right using that word. Wait. I sense human thoughts. There are survivors in there. Oh. The mist doesn't seem to have reached the upper parts of the city. But be careful. I sense indescribable depravity. Indescribable? Yeah, that's indescribable. Okay. Never actually seen that word in text before. Interesting. Fine. Golo, let's be careful. Okay, so the upper level is where there are people. Warrior monks of Biran were sent to Seoul. I hope they're still alive. Hoots! So if up is where they're alive, let's obviously go down. Because that's how you play an RPG. You go the wrong way first to get all the treasure. Then you go the right way. And it's right. I just made it up, so leave me alone. That's all I got. Vaughn now has life of water from the sage tre sage's treasure chest. What? Um, does that mean I shouldn't loot stuff? Because that was oddly specific. I'm not going to loot any more chests, I guess. That was... I uh, now want to... Oh, what the fuck? We haven't seen Undead for a long while, right? Uh, you need to spear it up, you need to spear it up, and you can just... Incinerate them, minions! What? Come on, Gala, go fast. Darn. Oh, well, at least they're defending. The best kind of defense, if you ask me, and if you don't ask me, then why are you watching my Let's Play? I don't know. 
The target, they're gonna get stupefied. Oh, stupefied, disturbed some. I didn't listen to a lot of music like that when I was younger. Like, I listened to a ton of Ozzy and Alice Cooper and Black Sabbath and even Disturbed and, and what have you, but as I got older, I just said, fuck it. Um, I just prefer music for the most part that is more um, technical. Not like math metal, not like that, but you know, music that has technicality, yeah, that was really annoying, but also feeling and, and story. That's why Dream Theater is still my, has been my favorite band since I was 17. I'm 27 now, so 10 years of just Dream Theater just being my top band. Uh, gotten stuff like Spock's Beard, who, if you ever want to really listen to what I, what I believe the, the epitome of real good prog rock in today's world is, Spock's Beard. Um, Growl, growl, growl. Sir Mustard almost looks sad. They're always so sad. And you know what I said? I'm not going to loot stuff. I lied. Fawn now has the guarding water from the Sage Church. Does. Now, what I will do is not use that stuff yet. But as I was saying, the epitome of prog rock, um, the Snow album. It's an amazing concept album. Uh, lyrically written predominantly by Neil Morse, who left the band. Oh, fuck all. Spoons. Spoons? Wait, that's... But they're forks. Whatever. Uh, but yes, the album Snow by Spock Spear. It's a double disc, so it's almost two hours long. Um, and it is about an albino psychic named John, but people call him Snow. Or as the lyrics say, his folks named him John, but everyone else called him Snow. Um, phenomenal music and amazing story. I've been... I thought Dream Theater's uh, Scenes from Memory was a phenomenal concept album, but Snow is just so in-depth, and you feel personally connected to this character. You understand his background, you understand his his wants, his desires, his fears, um, and it's just... It's, it's an amazing album. So I will say, give uh, Snow a good shot, and even if you only want to give it an hour, the first disc is amazing. Uh, it actually has my favorite song on there, which is Long Time Suffering. Um, it also has, no, I think Freak Boy on the second disc, but give Snow a shot if you're up for uh, trying some new music out. You can usually find it on uh, on YouTube just to, you know, listen to. And we did a lot of damage with Gaul, so we're just going to you know, do that same thing. Because I want him, he's got the ivory book, I want him to attack the spoons and hopefully uh, learn it. Uh, but yeah, big prog rock guy. I just, I like when... A lot of thought is put into it, whether it's a fictional story or a real one. Yeah, hey, we got it! So are they healers? I mean, they're light, but I mean, the last light one we got was not a healer. Let's just go into them. Oh, we'll just use the next combat, see what it says there. Um, well, if it's healing, we probably won't. But if it's an attack, we'll use it. But yeah, like, or it could be a real story, like um, in Dream Theater's A Change of Seasons, it's about when the drummer Mike Portnoy's mom died. Uh, magic water. And we went up some stairs. We're just gonna come back out in the spiral. Yeah. Um. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Let's just go. Wait. I am getting so lost here. Um. I guess I'll save it. I don't know if I should go through here. Powers up. Okay, I can't go through here. Cool, fine. Um, I just kind of want to go to the very... Is this where he came in? Or is that a weapon shop? Ready, set, load screen. Okay. So far from the Sage's treasure chest. But yeah, I mean, I just... I like comprehensive stories. Even if they're confusing. Um, you know, because sometimes, whether it's because they want it to be confusing, or they just might not have it all thought out yet. Sometimes it happens. But yeah, I mean, prog rock, prog metal, it's, it's my go-to stuff. Um, real quick, let's see what Spoon does. Recovers HP all eyes. Holy eyes. Okay, so we'll use that later. So, um, let's use Cyclone. We couldn't get the other. Actually, no, I don't want to do that against that guy. 
Uh, you goodness can attack that thing, and I guess you can just attack whoever's alive. Which is a, a strange thing. I mean, they're both dead, obviously. One's a ghost, one's a skeleton, but you know, they're reanimated. You know what I mean. It is freaking hot in here. Um, curious what the weather's like outside. I had my window open most of the day, but I don't want to keep it open now. One, it's you know past midnight, and two, it's uh, I don't want sounds. Because there were dogs barking all day too. It's really annoying. But yeah, it's only 63 degrees out now, but it was like 80, high 80s earlier. It was 90s yesterday. Alright, everyone prepare for the super annoying sounds of attack. Good damage, though. Um... I if I gave anybody the thing that makes combos stronger. I like her, uh, circlet. It's quite nice. But yeah, I think my plan is to... I was gonna say it was just to go to the bottom of the stairs, but... Wonder elixir from the sage's chest. Phoenix. I swear I'm doing something wrong. Um, it stresses me out now, actually. I, I kind of want to look it up. Like, I'm screwing up. Like, I'm going to have all this stuff, and the sage is going to be like, Oh, fuck you. You stole my stuff. And I'm going to be like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say just like that. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. So is he technically flying or no? Let's just use Frost Breath and maybe get in a Sonic Javelin. Alright, and you sir, you need some spirit. Yes you do, you need some spirit. How about you? Mm. That was weak as shit, Vaughn. Let's be honest, I'm disappointed in you. Don't let me down, girl. That happens to be green. Dang it, we didn't get it. I would like more than one person. I just lowered my volume. More than one person. To... Don't curse me, you dick whistle. Wait, curse is just you can't use Sarah, right? So I'm not fussed about that. Yeah, I would like more than one person to have um, stuff um, that's a spoon. I can't believe it's called a spoon either. When I was in middle school and, and elementary school, I went to school with this kid named, I'm not going to say his name, but we called him Spo The Spoon, like The Spoon. We never just called him Spoon. I don't know why. I tell myself that it's as he, he was tall and that he had like big ears or something, but he was my friend too. Like, I didn't do it to be a dick, but I probably was a dick, um, but... Yeah, so that's all I can think of is that guy from school. He's good people. And he married a person that I'm friends with as well, and so that's cool. Eh, you must be tired. But yeah, so the spoon makes me laugh. Um, man, I already recording for almost 20 minutes. That's flying. Flying high again. Come on and join me. Um. Hi, sir. How <laughs> many you get? Oh, distress, so you're not sad. That's good. Stupid people. Just kidding. Um. Okay, that goes down. That goes up. Well, we already started taking them, so we're gonna freaking take them all, I guess. Oh, I just want to read the sign, you stupid encounter. More spoons. I guess that should make me think of salad fingers, right? That freaking creeper. Actually, anything that ends with left. Hyper elbow, very good. Aw, oh, nuts. And you, sir, can do that, so they can have, you know, a, a fair chance at it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, boy. I'll tell you what. Really, you're still alive. That's creepy. 
I'm really curious, how are these things going to heal? Eyeballs and forks. Something about a demagogue. You tell him, Vaughn. You tell him. And golly, you get angry. You get so angry. White shield. Defense up. Wow, well, I almost said something terrible there. Let's not do that. I'm gonna white shield again. Ugh. Sorry for that. A wee bit tired. Oh, let's just Rosero this guy. Rosero that guy. And you can just keep spiriting up, Bella. Ah. What about you, Vaughn? Can you do it? Damn it, you both failed me. Very disappointed in you both. No, don't celebrate. And, you know, show me your Sarrow. Do the one where you put your right hand in, in the front. I want to see how long the blades become. I really just want it to be like a sword, so you can essentially be dual wielding. Today's special, ostrich special chicken omelet, quick fried blowfish and worms. You know. Ah! Well, he was saying wow wow. Of course, it's sad. Uh, wisdom water. I swear, Jeff or someone is gonna be like. Man, you should be opening those chests. I'm gonna be like, nah. Um. Wait. Did we ever go through this one? Oh, it was that thing. Okay, so. Damn, we came back up. Okay, we went through there. I'm gonna start skipping combats. Um. Is that the one we went through? And had the option of up and down? This place is freaking confusing me. Yeah, okay, so good, good. Can we read that? No. Ooh, can, I would say, can we sleep here? But I mean, there's mist everywhere. That'd be bad. Healing berry, son of a bitch. What is with these things? A little damage happened there. Let's see. Uh, Vaughn, let's use you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, God, I was like, I thought I was moving fast, but I forgot that diagonals in this game go oddly quick. Whether they actually do, or it's just... My vision? Why? Why am I tired? Um, considering I have to... S okay, this is where we started. Considering I've got to be awake for... until at least 4 o'clock. Uh, just to keep my normal schedule. Mm. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Painful. Ooh. The same one. Let's turn around on my. Uh, let's see. That looks like an important door, eh? I swear, if we've got what the fuck is that? Like an organ? What? There's writing carved into the door. He who seeks the warrior square must sate the sage's hunger. Then the sage's gate will open. There are eight more hungry sages. Maybe that means we have to open the chests. Ah, is soul onto something? The fuck is that? It says Sage's guard dog. That's what that is. Okay, so back up, I suppose. What does it say? You're painful. It somehow looks painful. Well, yeah, it's freaking attached to its face. Did we go through this? I'm sorry. Wait, is that like open now? No, it's not. What is this thing? Nothing. We can't interact with that little pedestal. Okay, um, so, we went through here, right? This one that had a bunch of going ups. Uh, yeah, okay, so we've been in there. Let's see, because the chest was open. Now, this will be a nice place when it's not covered in mist. Wait a second, how many? It's two safe points really close to each other. That is strange. I got 666 gold in that last uh, combat. It's pretty good. We've we been in here yet? I'm gonna s I want to say yes. Yeah, this is where we can go up and down. Um, this is the town. This is a time when it's like a downfall. We definitely went to weapon shop. It's definitely a time of downfall uh, of random encounters. 
because it just does make progression a lot slower. So for you guys, it's going to be a lot easier or better to watch, I think, since I'm, gonna be, since I'm skipping so many of these combats for you. But for me, it's actually a little annoying. Okay, we've been here. Not that I don't like the combat in this game. It's just I'm literally very intrigued with the story right now. So for a second, I thought the mist was gone. This is where we came out of at one point. Yes, we've been here. So, we keep going up. Yeah, I just really want to know what the hell's going on. Um, our, oh, fun, go, wait a minute. I hear something. I hear someone fighting. Yes, I hear it too. The sound of a monster roaring and the sound of a sword. What is it? Must be someone being attacked by a monster. Vaughn, let's help. Vaughn, let's help. Sorry, wrong person, wrong voice. What layeth beyond this door? Oh, the sound stopped. Whoever must, whoever was, must have been killed by the monster. Um, can we run in, please? The shit. So thou wert trying to ambush me. Grotesque beast from hell! Pack of Seru demons! Prepare to meet thy doom! Thou shalt die to my astral sword! Um. No? Hold it! Old man, calm down, we're not Seru monsters! Yeah, we're human beings! Silently contemplating us. Forgive me, I apologize. Thought indeed human, as I detect no madness in thine eyes. I am Gaza, an old man who walks the path of carnage and bloodshed. Forgive me, my, my incivility, as I live in such a defiled land. With this demon slayer is no place for woman nor child. Hmm? Ma? Who's... No, of course not. My eyes doth deceive me. Mars no longer of this world. Who's Mar? Maybe it's her. In the upper floors are ones who have greet, who would greet thee. Make haste. I take leave of you now. Um. Should we not have asked him more questions? That old man, Gaza. Now there is a true swordsman. Let's not drop his garb for an instant. But his eyes, his eyes showed no emotion at all. They were lifeless, cold eyes. Very disturbing. The old man talked so funny, I couldn't understand him. But when he looked at me, he called me Mar. He seemed so nice. Let me just run back inside somebody now. This is weird. Another save for it? Yep. Oh, bother. Let's go see who shall greet we. Can't read the sands on the walls. 